ability to hit it everywhere, invent you've shots. Got, you've got a, a number of different types of players mm. within that top ten. It shows you that there isn't one true formula in being successful in T20 cricket. Bubba Azam be the best batter in the world before his days are up in maybe all forms of the game. Is he that good? Uh, he's very good and um, you know playing majority of his games outside of Pakistan and surfaces that he may not be accustomed to. Um, yeah, I think uh, pretty special player. Very, very special player in all forms of the game as you said. You know, he's, he's got that um, variety in his game to adapt mm. and, and pretty much be successful. Sandeep Lamashane into the attack. We need the music turned down. It's lovely to have a bit of background music from time to time, but not when you're playing a game of cricket. It's one of your favourite tunes, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to push on, are we? OK. You just needed them to bowl. Yep. Nice. They could do with him recapturing his very best, couldn't they? The star, he was he was a revelation for two seasons, Lamashano. If he can just recapture that form and it'd go a long way to getting Hobart to where they want to be. Yeah, well, he was the new kid on the block, wasn't he? Nice for the Melbourne Stars and, and certainly bamboozled a number of players. But as we've found in this competition... Teams, individuals, they start to get to know you, so you've got to keep, you know, adding different tricks, and it, and it might be subtle changes for Sandeep, whether it be point of release. Don't know whether he's been working on any kind of secret deliveries. <laughs> Spinners seem to be calling all sorts of names for their variations. Yes. Wow. Oh, I just missed out on that one then. Dropped it marginally short to find the gap. It's been a pretty good start, you know. It's going around 10 runs and over, and it's pretty much setting themselves up for a big total here tonight. There's definitely a bit of turn there, Brian. You're wondering whether the spinners are going to get a bit of help out of it. It certainly appears like there's a bit of sideways movement for Sandy. Yeah, there's just not much grass, so you expect a, a back of the hand bowler to try to get some purchase off of it. Just checking to see what the pace is like, how it's coming off the track. Yep, 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 yep. Awesome. And, I, and I think it's really smart play, and we've seen this from the Adelaide strikers. When, when you look at Rashid Khan, they bring him on straight after the power play just to, to slow it down, ask the batters to make the pace of the ball instead of using the fast pace that's on offer with Riley Meredith. Oh. Wait, wait. So far, it's worked, given that there's only four runs that have come off this yeah. over. Finish it off now. Get out of this with a single or a dot ball, and he's done exactly what Stakes was talking about. Oh, yes, yeah. Taking the pad on the way through. Come back for a couple. That's the end of the fifth over. None for 46.